Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Webdev. In this video, we will see how the scheduler works in the RxJS. Let's try to see the demo. In the previous video, we have seen the introduction of the schedulers. So what are the different types of schedulers present? Q scheduler, async scheduler, SAP scheduler we have seen, right? Now we will see the practical implementation of these schedulers. Now if we try to see here, now I am creating the component ngGC pages slash scheduler okay we will see the implementation of the schedulers sorry we will create with the schedulers now before creating that one what i will try to do is let's go to the app component.html and i will add a router link here so routing so that we will be able to see scheduler and here we will see the scheduler and in the app routing i will go down and I will create here scheduler and here I will create scheduler component okay so let's uh, try to see scheduler component so whether it will create or not here if I try to press yeah we are able to see scheduler component yeah we have created a scheduler component let's go to this component and here let's create observables so first one is something like queue scheduler okay i am creating a queue scheduler as this one is an observable so i can create of like i will write queue scheduler this is a queue scheduler and we need to pass the queue scheduler here so we can pass it like this it is of type queue scheduler let's import this of 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 yeah as it is an observable and next one is an async scheduler async shed scheduler or scheduler whatever we will be calling that one scheduler so this one is an async scheduler and i will call this one as async scheduler now an another type of scheduler it is present is the asap scheduler asap asap scheduler and here i will write asap scheduler and here SAP scheduler we can pass this one SAP scheduler that's it so there are there are three observables which is of type Q scheduler async and the SAP scheduler now let's try to merge these all things okay I am merging so let's merge this Q scheduler Q scheduler and async scheduler and another one is the SAP scheduler okay so I have merged these all things and I am subscribing to the, this one at a time and here you will be getting the data and I will be doing the console.log of data. That's it. Now let's try to see the output. If I go here and if I do the inspect element and in the inspect element if I try to see in the console, if you try to see in the console, now I am clicking on the scheduler. If I click on the scheduler, you will be able to see that Q scheduler is executed first then afterwards SAP scheduler, then afterwards async scheduler. So one by one it has been executed. Now what is the thing you will be able to understand is, now you are now you will see the thing. So here I am writing console.log, okay. So script starting, here I am writing the script starting and another one after completion of all these things. So now I am writing here script ending, okay, that's it. Now if you try to see the output, what could be the output, let us try to see. If I, if you see the output here, you will be able to see that script starting, okay, Q scheduler has uh, executed, then afterwards immediately the script has been ended. So that means script has started, console and three observables has been initialized and then if you try to see here, merge means, so previously we are able to see the output Q scheduler async and SF is uh, printed. But here only Q scheduler is printed and again console.log script ending is printed. Then afterwards you are able to see SAP and the async. Okay. So what is the thing here is happening is these script starting to Q scheduler and these all things are synchronous. Okay. So the uh, one by one line after line it will execute. Whereas async scheduler and the SAP scheduler is little bit of different. So these things will be kept in an queue. Okay. Well kept in an async will be kept in the task and SAP will be kept in the micro task. 
so where in this one after completion after execution completion of all these things by the javascript execution context so when this uh, execution is completed then it will take the tasks that are present in the micro task first so what is the task that are present in the micro task it is nothing but the sap scheduler so for that reason sap is executed so after completion of this micro task then it will take check in the task queue so when this task queue so it will be async schedule is present so that is the reason async is executed so if you try to see here if i try to write this one at the first also so you'll be able to see i have written this one in the at the first async scheduler but still it will be executed last why because after execution of this queue sap then only async will be executed if i try to see the same output you'll be able to see the same output script starting queue script ending sap and async okay so if you want your observables not to halt the not to halt the execution of this uh, your main ui thread means if you want to execute it as a separate thing execution means you can use the sap scheduler or the async scheduler so most probably you'll be using this async scheduler only or otherwise if you want to use so sap uh, scheduler will be given more priority than the async so async is the last priority so this is the thing you need to understand so this is the demo of showing this how the schedulers works in the rxjs so you can almost all the what i can say is almost most of the operators creation observable creation operators all the operators support this scheduler so you want if you want to use this uh, schedule if you want to decide when this observable has to execute when this main thread main ui thread is completed uh, after that main ui thread is completed if you want to execute means you can use this scheduler to indicate that when it has to execute so almost all the operators if you try to see at the bottom so let's see we have seen this qsap and async scheduler right if you try to see here so all these all merge these all things will be supported so merge and now off from so these all things supports the scheduler so you can mention the scheduler as the last argument usually take scheduler as an ar argument so array and the scheduler so everything supports this one and also not only this one so we have an another operator which supports the scheduler i will show you in like in afterwards so this is the, this is what about the scheduler so hope you understood about this scheduler concept so next we will see some more operators and we will close off this rxjs concept so hope you understood about the scheduler's concept this is all about the scheduler only that's it so scheduler is one of the concept that supports in the operators itself so to control the flow of the observable when to execute so whether it need to execute synchronously with the a ui thread or otherwise it need to be executed afterwards means so you will decide using the scheduler so this is all about the scheduler's concepts if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you